On my journey to become the best cook I can be, I visited Miami and New York City, Austin, Texas, Chicago, Illinois, and Los Angeles, California. And today, I'm visiting the Great White North. I'm at the home of... Hey, I'm James from Smoking Dad Barbecue. All right, so evidently, I'm gonna learn how to make my American Thanksgiving turkey from <laughs> uh, a Canadian, eh? So James, you had a video last year where you injected a turkey with butter and then cooked it on the jotisserie, which That's right. I use a jotisserie with my big green eggs. We cross the whole Kamado Joe jotisserie. Right. One uh, big family. One big, yeah, I mean, they kind of <laughs> hate each other, but we don't hate each That's other, right? right? No. But it is one of the, I think, useful products from Kamado Joe, and I'd love to learn how to do that. So I'm hoping that you're going to teach them and me how to make this amazing turkey for our American Thanksgiving and for, for sure. the Canadian audiences, you know, for next year. For can sure. we do that? We can do that. All so right. So we a, started this yesterday, right? Absolutely. You want to catch them up on how we got here? Yeah, there's, there's a couple of reasons why we, we started this yesterday. So there's a few things that we want to do. One of the, the biggest mistakes I made transitioning from just cooking inside to outdoors is bringing what works great outside where we do a wet brine and we're trying to get crispy skin on the grill. So to solve that, we want to do an overnight dry brine. If you haven't heard that, just means we're going to put our yep. salt on <laughs> ahead of time and make sure that we can help get the skin dry. It'll render out really well. The other thing that we wanted to do, you mentioned, is injecting with butter, but this is no ordinary butter. We did a special compound butter. We did. We'll bring you up to speed, but that's because if we put fresh aromatics on the outside, they'll tend to burn when we're cooking directly over those live coals. So instead, we've infused the butter with all that flavor and injected it into our bird. Right, now I do lots of dry brining on my channel, but I just use salt, and you actually did the whole flavor profile we did. in advance. So one of the things that you can do, is you said you could dry brine, but then if we want to add any extra ingredients, they won't stick after right. the turkey's dried out. And so now we have to get the skin that we just dried out damp again. So to solve that, we mixed up our salt, pepper, garlic, and we applied it all at once. So now you can see it's uh, not falling off when we rub it. It's adhered to the skin, and we'll get that nice dry brine effect. All right, so when I'm doing a steak, keep doing it the way I'm doing, but when I'm doing a bird and I want crispy skin, Absolutely. just get all the flavor on at the time when I'm dry brining. This is all for the skin. All right, so I guess we probably ought to get uh, one of the Kamado Joes fired up. Yeah, let's go fire it up. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. 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 Oh, I'm sorry. 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 Oh, I'm sorry. 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 All right. That's probably enough sorry, huh? So yeah, uh, that's enough. Go Let's fire go fire it up. Yeah. Hey. So know how I set up my egg for uh, the jotisserie. How do we set up uh, one of these red Kamado <laughs> Joe things? First thing we're going to do in two stages. We're going to bank our coals to the back and run a nice slow fire under 300 degrees right. to cook our bird evenly all the way through. And then uh, we're going to use one of my favorite underrated tools that comes with the Joe is just our ash tool. And we're going to pull all those coals underneath later on in order to let the flames fly and really finish that skin. So we're going to uh, do our skin in two stages. Okay, that's something I haven't done uh, with the rotisserie. Yeah, yep, we're going to interact with the fire. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, awesome. All right, let's set it up. All right, so the smoker's coming up to temperature. Coming up to temp. You said you want to trust the bird. Yeah, so right. I, I'm sure you've done this as yes. well on yours, but we don't want anything flopping around. So we want to make sure we don't burn our wingtips. So we want to tuck those in nice and tight. And we also want to make sure the butcher did this, uh, sort of trussing the legs with a little bit of fat. But as we cook, that's going to loosen up and flail, and we don't want any of that. So we want to tie this up really tight and get it on our pit. Anything special about the truss or just keep it tight? Keep it tight. All right, so uh, let me go ahead and uh, do this the way I do a turkey. Absolutely. All right. I'll leave you to it. So I'm gonna start around the leg, come around to the front, and I wanna pull it tight, pull these wings up so that I can get the wings up against the body. Don't want these flopping around. Come back around the breast so that I can plump that breast up and then secure it right at the feet. Then I'm gonna get my rotisserie spit set up. So I'm not gonna worry about getting these forks really tight. So I'm gonna come in underneath the legs, come through the cavity, and I want to try to keep roughly straight and find my natural exit point there. I'm going to set my forks around the ends of the legs. James, you want to show us how to get this bird set up on the grill? Let's do it. 
and we will check these, make sure they don't slip every half hour or so. Okay, so we've made up what I like to call some herb smoke bombs. So we just have some rosemary, thyme, and sage. So we've made up three of these that we've tied up. And so now that we've been about 30 minutes, I'm gonna add my first one at 30 minutes. And we're doing this for our smoke since if we were to get uh, some wood and it wasn't burning cleanly, if it's burning cleanly, our temperatures will be too high. Uh, and the risk here is managing rubbery skin. So I find you get great smoke without getting that rubbery skin. And this is going to continue to impart some of that aromatic smell that we want. So to do that, look for a spot down in the coals, place that right where there's fire, and that'll give us about 30 minutes of smoke. All right, so we're about two hours in. Let's take a look. All right. <laughs> oh, it's coming along nice. So yes. the meter has let us know we're not quite at our target temperature yet. We're at about 145 degrees, but this is right. a point where we want to give uh, a little bit more air and start to focus on our skin. So let's add our last smoke bundle. Okay. And my favorite part, we're gonna rake the coals uh, directly under now and start to let some of those fat drippings come down and hit the live fire. So we're gonna Oh, that's knock... gonna be nice, yeah. Exactly, but we wanna knock this down so that we don't have uh, the bird sitting right in flame, but we definitely wanna concentrate the heat more underneath. So we're gonna now cook the rest of the way dome open and just continue to move coals as we need uh, to manage our skin doneness. So this is going to get like piping hot now. Piping hot. Uh, we're not restricting exactly. airflow. No restrictions. Let it fly. All right. I'm so excited. All right, James, I think we have uh, an excellent looking turkey. I think we're ready. Let's so James, one of my favorite things to do on the channel and one of my audience's favorite things to watch as you know because you see the videos is the food porn absolutely would you do the honors and carve the bird while we play some smooth sexy music behind it i'm excited already all right Let's do it. we will see you guys when it's ready to taste enjoy this been here before you recognize my daughter Leah 11 year old food critic and best daughter in the world although James your daughters are lovely so I'll keep them. yeah I think <laughs> I would if I were you you know Canadians are known for being nice and James is super nice doing this with me although we did a little trash talking earlier and if you saw James's chili video that just came out if you haven't seen it I'll put a link up we kind of challenged each other to a duel I'm not sure that I really buy the whole slow roller thing no I mean, it seems kind of gimmicky, no? Oh, I think I could uh, challenge you to a head-to-head -head then. Uh, how should we make it a fair test? Because it's always just me reviewing. Should you be the one to decide, or should we get like an independent... My daughter's test? here with me. All right. I, I mean, I don't decide. know if that's fair to you. Challenge accepted, my friend. <laughs> All right. All right. If you're not a subscriber already to both James's channel and mine, make sure you subscribe to both, oh, because we're going to be putting... James's Kamado Joe and his skills against my big green egg skills and making brisket and seeing, I'll, I'll be nice. I'll try not to crush you. So Leah, we made a turkey. This is James's way of making a turkey. And he, I gotta tell you, I was pretty impressed with how he made it. So we're gonna taste, we're gonna do the usual moist, tender, yummy. I'm expecting you're probably gonna like it better than you like the last turkey I made. So you tell them what you think. Okay. All right, let's do it. Cheers. 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 I know what I think. All right, Leah. All right, she's uh, she's going for more. I'm gonna take that as a good sign. All right, moist. Um, it was amazing. Yeah, this is more <laughs> moist than any turkey yeah. breast I've ever made. All right, tender. It fell apart while I was eating it. It was great. Yeah, all right, and yummy. How do we do on taste? 
Yeah, five stars. Dude, James, I think this is better than any turkey I've ever made. It so, comes out so well. I guess yeah. the answer to the best way to make turkey for American Thanksgiving is to bring a Canadian into the picture <laughs> and get it done. Hey, listen, if you enjoyed this video as much as we're enjoying this turkey, watch this video next. James, you want to show them where it is? Right up, uh, right over there. I think you're really going to enjoy it. And we'll see you next time on Eat, Eat More, More Vegans. Vegans.